at times what I face is when I charge, people used to say, are you going to use the money for your makeup? So you are a woman and your husband or your boyfriend will be providing for you. So your cost should be lesser than the men. But that's not the case because I'm paying um, my boy. So I need to also charge like how the men are charging. But they think I'm a woman. We remain to be very creative. And we, we, we always want to do the best out of whatever we want. In a world that is highly marginalized, leaving world leaders and international organizations to effortlessly work at bridging the inequality gap between males and females, our searchlight has identified a lady, Doris Deku, who in her own way is breaking this glass ceiling. Before we bring her story, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. My name is Philip Abutiati and this is Faces of Ghana. I'm Doris Deku, I'm 26 years old, and I'm JHS graduate. And I couldn't continue the education because my parents died whilst I was in junior high school. So, and I have one child who is six years old. And from there, from the school, I started selling food at an estate where I saw someone laying towels, and I just liked the way he he spread the mortar and then laid the towels. So I went to him and then I asked, can I also be like him? But he told me it's not meant for women. So from there, I take it off from my mind. So I was still selling my food. Where I met um, this NGO at my area, they came that they are training youth in um, construction. So I asked them, I'm a woman, I want to be a tiler. And they said, yes, that's what they even want most. So that was where I joined the team and then I was trained as a tiler. I had the training intensively for one year and then I also started my own business. That was last year till now. Yeah. When I was in school, I wanted to be an accountant or a businesswoman and, or a lawyer. That was the three things I was working up for. But after the senior high, um, the junior high education, I couldn't continue because I lost my parents. So, so it was in my mind to be either a businesswoman, lawyer, or an accountant. So, but because I didn't get any support, I need to turn into another thing. That was why I started the food selling, and then now it's like I've achieved the business one because now I'm working on my own, and I win contracts on my own, and I have people working for me. So, I think I've achieved one out of the three. For now, most people wish to work with me because I'm a woman and they've not seen any woman in Thailand. So it's easy for me now, but from the beginning, they think I'm a woman, so I can't work like men. So at times they need to give me like a sample, small portion for me to do. If I'm able to do it well, before they will like give me more of the contract. As for now, they have not yet met any person who wants me in the in the exchange of uh, giving me contract, but at times what I face is when I charge, people used to say, "Are you going to use the money for your makeup? So you are a woman, and your husband or your boyfriend will be providing for you. So your cost should be lesser than the men." But that's not the case because I'm paying um, my boy, so I need to also charge like how the men are charging. But they think I'm a woman and. Um, my boyfriend or my, I'm a woman, so I'll be getting support from elsewhere. So my charging should be lesser than the men. So that is the problem I'm facing now. I have one girl that I'm training and then I have four boys working for me as well. But in the next five years, I want to see my company being the most leading construction company in Africa. And then I want to see women in construction, like they should see construction as a normal work that women do, like the hairdressing, the, um, um, like the works that is done by women. Okay, um, why that person should choose me because um, I'm unique. I'm unique because since I started this work, first of all, I've never met any woman before. And so we remain to, we are very creative. And we, we, we always want to do the best out of whatever we want. So, 
like if you give me a contract, the most of the time what I do is I used to give design to the person. I want you to bring two colors of towels, then I'll give you the designs and stuff. But the men, the towels you put there, they just lay it how you want it. That's all. They will not even give you any more ideas of what you, you have. They just go straight to the old type. If it's one color, one color at the place. My advice to the youth, most is to the women. Um, there's nothing too late in this life. Because at first, the time I was having child, I thought things were, that's the end for me and I don't have any him again. But they should take it in a way that any opportunity that comes their way, they should make good use of it. And then whatever comes their way, they should make sure they have parts to play. They, sh they, don't, they shouldn't take it to mind that oh, this thing, I can't do it. They should always have a try of it. And I also advise them that they should um, have and then courage to join the uh, construction because there is more to learn in construction and then they are more to end over there if only you do your work and then do it well. Um, my request to the government. I want the government to support us, especially with the women, in a way that even at least a year there will be some award winning for women who are able to be in the, like, the construction sector or, or doing something different to, to reduce unemployment in Ghana. And also when they are giving contracts to contractors, at least 10% of the con contracts should go to we the youth so that we can also be useful to the country as well. I want to say a very big thanks to God Almighty for how fire has brought me. And then thanks to my NGO who trained me to become a Tyler now. And then my master, because at first they were discouraging him that he's just wasting his time training a woman. So it's not, but he didn't listen to them. He went ahead and then trained me. And now I'm a successful businesswoman and an entrepreneur. So I say God bless my master so much for how far he has brought me. And then um, I'm looking forward to do something special for him as time goes on. And then to my baby, the girl I'm training to, I wish her the best so that she also become like me, so that others will also learn from her so we can spread out of Ghana. Right, so you heard Doris Deku. She, she has said it all. We should support our very own government and authorities should support the youth and place, you know, premium on the ladies. Well, this has been Faces of Ghana. My name is Philip Abutiati. If there's any story we could cover such as this, feel free to share with us. And let's get interactive on our social media platforms as well. Okay.